The following content may contain crude language, violences, some dirty humor, and sexual jokes are not suitable for children and is intended for 18 plus or older audience. Viewer discretion is advised, which means if you get offended easily, do not watch this video. Thank you. What's going on everybody? Your boy Man Up. If you like my videos, if you find them interesting, if you want to share the content, if you want everybody to know what I'm talking about, whether you agree or disagree, please like, comment, share, subscribe. And as always, coming from your boy Man Up, thanks for watching. Actor and wrestler John Cena recently split from ex fiance Nikki Bella. Uh, he made her sign a formal contract before they moved in together in 2013. It stated that if they ever broke up, she would have to leave the premises immediately. Are yeah. relationship prenups a good idea? I say yes. I think that they're a really good idea. I mean, by the time that you get to the point where you don't want to be with each other anymore, you want it to go as smoothly as possible. And at this point, you can pull out that piece of paper and be like, this is yours, this is mine, and you can separate in a nice, amicable way. At least that's what you hope. I don't know. If I'm, if I'm done with someone, I'm done. I don't want any of this. Take it. I'm out. I think if you have a prenup or if you have some sort of contract, you're already going into the relationship with an expiration date. You're thinking, I'm going to break up with you. This wasn't a prenup, though. This was a contract that he put in front of her, 46 pages, that says, if we're going to break up, you are out the door. Ladies, your biggest, your strongest weapon is your intuition. If somebody's handing you a contract on day one saying, if it don't work, your ass is out the door, your ass needs to be out the door on day one. Yes. I agree. I, I don't even understand what's going on. This is a 46 page contract. You know, it's, it's a funny thing. I agree. If you go into it with the idea that it's going to end, I like, let me tell you something. I don't know a single person that has a prenup that ain't had to use it. She said, you're preparing for failure. It's like having a plan B. Yeah, it's your insurance policy. See, people that kill is, me with that. A that plan is B is that. ridiculous. If you have a plan B, how can you possibly expect A to work yeah, if, exactly. if you don't put your all into A? You have to go into that relationship 100% committed, not yes. thinking, okay, if it doesn't work out, this is what I'm going to do. You know, if it doesn't work out, then fine. I'm out of here. I don't want any of this. And I'll go shopping way, and buy new furniture. Right, right. And if it doesn't work out, I hope that you would treat me accordingly. There are plenty of women who have busted their butts for their men. They have put in into that relationship. Why is it that after five, ten years, a relationship doesn't work? You're going to throw me out of the house? No, I'm keeping the house, the car. I'm keeping everything. Your ass is leaving the house. <laughs> Now that we got that out the way, let's move on. <laughs> What's going on, everybody? Your boy, Man Up. I'm back at you with one more video today. hoo -wee. Now, this first lady that was talking, um, I agree with what she's saying. And the second lady that's on both ends. I, now, the one in the middle had to go and get feminist with it, but... I... I agree, because I told my wife this, if we don't work out, and we've married, been married for a long time, if we don't work out, I just want all my personal stuff, and I'm gone. You see what I'm saying? I'm, you know, my clothes, my shoes, you know what I'm saying, all my toys, you know what I'm saying, you know, my, like my wrestling belts, you know, stuff like that, you know, all, stuff that's really mine. You know what I'm saying? I'm gone. Then the lady in the middle talking about, no, if you're going in with the idea of it failing, it's going to fail. I disagree. Hell, I get life insurance, that don't mean I'm, I'm planning on dying. Hell, I get car insurance, that don't mean I'm planning on getting to an accident. You see what I'm saying? You got to have a plan B. Don't your parents always tell you to have a plan B, a backup plan, just in case whatever you want to try to strive for doesn't work? Don't they, don't, don't, don't your family tell you that? Oh, okay. I know my, my mom did. 
you got to have a backup plan just in case. Huh? Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. Yeah. So the question really is, ladies, would you sign a prenup or a rela uh, relationship agreement? Would you do that? Now, I'm not bad mother anybody if you do it. That's your business. Your relationship, your business. But I get why John Cena does that. He's protecting himself. See, it's mighty funny when a man want to protect himself from crazy nonsense. It seems to be wrong. We shouldn't do that. That's disrespectful. But women come in this with all kinds of ways to protect themselves just in case something happens. They hide money from us. They they'll go to the government, you know, to the government basically asking for help. I mean, all this crazy nonsense. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and that's why I say it, I find it strange when a man want to help him, want to try to protect himself. It's seen as the patriarchy. It's disrespectful. It's rude. You shouldn't do this. Uh, like, wait a minute, what? Hell no, I'm going to protect myself. Of course you want to come into a relationship because you don't know what's going to happen. Hell, there was a study that showed out of all the divorces that uh, in the past, uh, I think it said 10 years, if I'm not mistaken, 80% of the people that filed for divorce were women. So that means out of every 10 divorces, only two filed by men. Hmm. So you got damn right. And John Cena is a wealthy man. So you damn right. It's just the same thing with Candy Burris. She made her her husband to be sign a prenup. Nobody talk bad about her. Oh, y'all didn't know that, huh? Go look her up. Candy Burris used to be in that mute, that R and B singing group called Escape. Go look it up. She made her husband sign a prenup. Yeah, nice. I ain't seen none of y'all ladies talking about uh, uh, she was wrong for that. Hmm? There are people that don't have prenups that get divorces. So let's go ahead and get to Steve Harvey here, the king of simps. I don't know a single person that, that got a prenup that didn't have to use it. What about those that don't have prenups and they get a divorce and everything is taken from them? Wait a minute, I thought Steve Harvey was on, oh, wait a minute, Steve Harvey is on his third marriage. Ooh. So did he have prenups? <laughs> well, yeah. The king of the simps here. Yeah, king of simps. You do what you have to do to protect yourself, to be safe, because people do come into relationships, marriages. They come into your life with horrible intentions. So you have to protect yourself. Hell, people walk outside with an umbrella all the time, uh, and it don't rain. But what are they doing? Just in case it rains, they're being cautious. Huh? They do that all the time in England. They walk around with umbrellas. On a bright, sunny, shining day, just in case it rains, they got some kind of protection. Like I said, you get car insurance. Uh, I think you have a plan on getting into an accident, but it's there just in case. You get life insurance. Uh, I don't think you plan on dying, but it's there just in case. Same damn thing. You are protecting yourself. And again, why does it seem to be so horrible when a man protects himself, but no one says anything when a woman protects herself? I get it, Steve. Your audience was nothing but women. And you're doing whatever to cater and to pander to them. But you shouldn't be. You should be telling these ladies the truth. This is why we have these issues. This is why we have these issues in this country. Because of people like Steve Harvey, people like Mr. Derek Jackson, want to sit here and pander to these women. 
And Steve Harvey is on his third marriage. So where was his prenup at? Hmm. <laughs> yeah, so I that's why I say y'all listening to the y'all women listen to the wrong people about relationships. Huh? Your parents used to always tell you when you're growing up, have a backup plan just in case what you really want to do doesn't work out. You know, you can fall back on this. You have a plan B. Ah, plan B. Huh? But like I said, no one tells the women that they're, uh, you know what I'm saying, that they shouldn't have a backup plan. No one tells them. Huh? But you are quick to tell a man. Think about it. With all that being said, this is your boy Man Up. I'm talking to Deuce. I holler at y'all. Actor and wrestler John Cena recently split from ex fiance Nikki Bella. Uh, he made her sign a formal contract before they moved in together in 2013. It stated that if they ever broke up, she would have to leave the premises immediately. Are relationship prenups a good idea? I say yes. I think that they're a really good idea. I mean, by the time that you get to the point where you don't want to be with each other anymore, you want it to go as smoothly as possible. And at this point, you can pull out that piece of paper and be like, this is yours, this is mine, and you can separate in a nice, amicable way. At least that's what you hope. I don't know. If I'm, if I'm done with someone, I'm done. I don't want any of this. Take it. I'm out. I think if you have a prenup or if you have some sort of contract, you're already going into the relationship with an expiration date. You're thinking, I'm going to break up with you. This wasn't a prenup, though. This was a contract that he put in front of her, 46 pages, that says, if we're going to break up, you are out the door. Ladies, your biggest, your strongest weapon is your intuition. If somebody's handing you a contract on day one saying, if it don't work, your ass is out the door, your ass needs to be out the door on day one. I agree. I, I don't even understand what's going on. This is a 46-page okay. contract. Okay. You know, it's, it's a funny thing. I agree. If you go into it with the idea that it's going to end, I like, let me tell you something. I don't know a single person that has a prenup that ain't had to use it. She said, you're preparing for failure. It's like having a plan B. Yeah, it's your insurance policy. See, people kill is, me with that. A that plan is B is that. ridiculous. If you have a plan B, how can you possibly expect A to work yeah, if, exactly. if you don't put your all into A? You have to go into that relationship 100% committed, not thinking, okay, if it doesn't work out, this is what I'm going to do. You know, if it doesn't work out, then fine. I'm out of here. I don't want any of this. And I'll go shopping way, and buy new furniture. Right, right. And if it doesn't work out, I hope that you would treat me accordingly. There are plenty of women who have busted their butts for their men. They have put in into that relationship. Why is it that after five, ten years, a relationship doesn't work? You're going to throw me out of the house? No, I'm keeping the house, the car. I'm keeping everything. Your ass is leaving the house. <laughs> Amen. Well, now that we got that out the way, let's move on. <laughs>